Blight Mall Cop 2. The Paul Blight Mall Cop 2 is the much anticipated, much hoped for and much demanded sequel to Paul Blight Mall Cop and in this film Paul Blight, played once again by Kevin James, goes with his daughter to Las Vegas to attend this like security guard convention and then you have bad guys behind the scenes doing bad guy stuff and Paul Blight's gotta save the day yet again. And we the movie going audience get to sit back and enjoy the ride, or in my case get bored. Seriously this film I was just it was just, it's just shocking how many times I did not laugh in this film whatsoever. I mean, I went into the film with no hope at all. I, I just thought this film looked so bad, but I wanted to go see it anyway because it's Paul Blart 2. And I, I, I kind of remember liking the first Paul Blart. So I went in to see if this film would prove me wrong and turn out to be at least funny. And the film did not prove me wrong at all. It just pro proved me right because the film is just bad. I won't lie, the film does have a couple of chuckle moments. It does have like one, maybe two laughs. But throughout the film, there's just long stretches of times where I was just sat there. Is this supposed to be funny right now? Am I meant to be laughing right now? I mean, the film's predictable as hell. You know exactly what's going to happen. You know exactly how certain stories are going to unfold throughout the film. And the storylines in this film, like the main kind of storyline, besides from the whole criminal background stuff, is so cliched and so predictable. Like his daughter is like she's falling for this like towel boy or something at the hotel and she's like sneaking off to go see him and Kevin James is like trying to spy on her and he's being like a really overprotective dad I'm just like oh my god we've seen that a hundred thousand million times before I mean it just got so tired after about five seconds of the storyline even being on the screen so when you just see it you're just gonna roll your eyes and go oh my god this for the billionth time bad guys in this film are just they're just expendable as hell. I mean, the main bad guy, he's not threatening whatsoever, and his only real threat to Paul Blart is kidnapping his daughter when she walks in on some kind of a meeting or something. And it's just so predictable. This is what I mean, it's so predictable. And he's just like got guns to her, and he's just, they're just terrible bad guys. Really terrible bad guys. Clever, really clever in terms of like the whole scheme. Clever stuff they do, it's just them, just not good bad guys. Then again, it is a Paul Blart movie, so Paul Blart films are not really built on historic bad guys, so there is that. I see this film as having wasted potential, and what I mean by that is the concept is something that could have been so awesome if done differently. Like, I think this film would have been a hundred times better if it was rated R. You see, because Paul Blart gets to drop F bombs and he gets to swear all the time, there could be actual violence in this film. I mean, th there's not even any violence in this film, really. I mean, non like actual fight violence and if they actually had that in it in a rated R film this film would have been a hundred times better and, I, and even potentially funny but instead we get this PG film rated for families and people to go watch and be bored out of the red. I mean in the cinema watching this was me and three other people like a mum and her two children and they laughed like very spaciously throughout the film so I can't imagine they were too thrilled by the film so I was just I was just sat there like mm -hmm. all credits time to go so in the end, Paul Blart 2, not funny. Don't waste your time with this film whatsoever. Save your money for the next couple of weeks for when The Avengers comes out because everyone's looking forward to The Avengers. Everyone's going to go see The Avengers and hopefully love it. So just save your money for The Avengers. I know I should have done, but I still get to go watch The Avengers. So just don't watch this film. It's not funny. Cliché as hell, predictable, boring. Everything a comedy film should not be. I'm not even going to be generous with the rating because I give Paul Blart 2 one out of five. So if you have seen Paul Blart 2, what are your thoughts about it? Leave a comment below if you have seen the film. If you want to see more stuff, trust me, I do actually like a lot of things. Then be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got stuff coming to you guys all the time.